everyone, it's Whitney. I hope you're doing well on this Thursday. It is 4.30 Mountain Time and I just wanted to pop in and say hi. I've uh, posted a couple things this week and wanted to just hang out to answer any questions you had. Earlier this week, I sent out a video about five reasons why it's really important to follow our intuition. And then today I posted about some spiritual gift ideas. So I wanted to just quickly run through that gift guide because I know that we have such little amount of time left before the holidays and sometimes we're scrounging for something that we just might not have thought about. So I hope everyone's doing well. I did want to say if you have any questions, please go ahead and ask them. So questions about your intuition, questions about maybe the guide, questions about a spirit activity you might have had. So I'm not going to be doing readings per se, but I can give you my opinion or advice based on what's going on. So I did want to just make sure that I had an outlet to interact with you because I haven't been on this page in a while. I was here last week, but I missed you guys. So let's go over the guide real quick. Just some ideas. So when we're shopping for metaphysical, spiritually minded people, sometimes we go, oh, what do I get them? And generally it's because some of the regular gifts aren't something that they may, might be interested in, such as clothing or some tech stuff or stuff like that. And so when you are shopping for your spiritually minded friend or family member, you can always think about they're interested in their personal growth. What kind of tools could I give them to help them grow? What are they really interested in? So it's usually they want their spirit to grow higher. Now sometimes they're also really interested in, in connecting to their intuition, their loved ones in spirit, angels, channeling, spirit guides, things like that. So you need to get kind of in a frame of mind of what their interests are. And so if you're the type of buyer that really likes to buy physical gifts, I've got some examples here. Hi Lisa, good to see you. So physical gifts you still can get, but they might be a little different than what you would get for someone else. So one thing, no matter what cycle of energy that your spiritual friend is in, is great, is always crystals. So here's a rose quartz, it's one of my suggestions. So. It doesn't have to look like this. It could be round. It could be in a different kind of shape, but rose quartz represents love and represents self-love. So that's a really nice gift, basically, from the heart that you can give. Another one of my favorites is azurite. So azurite can come in many different shapes and forms, but it's going to look like this, and I have like a little piece of it. And this crystal right here helps to open up the third eye and also see spirit and kind of get into more of that intuitive land. So if your spiritual or metaphysical friend really likes that, you could also buy some jewelry if you, depending on your budget, right? But you can find some inexpensive jewelry. Um, but see this blue stone, so this is lapis. So you could find maybe some lapis earrings that might be a little smaller or something like that, that could be really helpful. And then this stone is one that I think more people are becoming interested in, in. And this is Lapidolite. I don't know if you can see it because of the light, but it's a really light purple stone and it has some pink traces of tourmaline in it. And this is a really good one to sleep. So I actually got a huge piece years ago. I didn't even know what it was or what it was for. And it really is a great calmer and it's got that love energy and also it can help with sleep. That's what I use it for. So it works to access this part, so the crown chakra and the spiritual type things, but also it can be really helpful to go to sleep. Another thing that usually we like are essential oils and if you have a favorite provider or they have a favorite provider, you could research that. Um, in my spiritual guide, I've put some links directly to some of the oils I love. Unfortunately, I didn't bring my favorites to the office today because they're on my bedside table because I use them every night before I go to sleep. But I do have an example. So here's an example of pumpkin spice latte. So you could just do something from the holiday season or you could look at oils that really represent things. So for instance, um, like a rose oil 
can really represent the heart chakra and love. So you could do that. Something that maybe is like a jewelry holder that's a diffuser. I have one of those necklaces where you can put essential oils inside of the necklace. And so I'm just smelling frankincense all day. Frankincense is definitely one of my favorites to help clear energy. So you could do those types of things as well. But I really love essential oils and most people who are interested in lightening their vibration may like them as well. Hi Lauren! Oh, you're in Sedona today for work. Awesome. I was in Sedona. I'm here right now. So it's great weather here and we still have a little bit of light. So I'm glad that you're not seeing me in a dark room right now. Another physical tangible item that you can buy are Oracle cards. So Oracle cards can be really nice ways to kind of check in with yourself and your intuition and say, yep, that's what I was feeling. Or can you give me more insight on this situation? Now, not tarot cards because tarot cards require a lot of skill and there's a system. So Oracle cards is something that everybody can work with. They're easy. And what I recommend, there's two decks I recommend that I love. I'm not affiliated with um, either of these decks. I just use them in my everyday practice. And one is the Sacred Traveler. This might be backwards for you guys. I'm not sure. But it's the Sacred Traveler by Denise Lynn. And I really love this deck. It's beautiful artwork on the front and the back. And I also just acquired a deck called the Spirit Animal Oracle Deck by Colette Baron reed Beautiful imagery. One of my friends actually showed it to me and I fell in love with it, and it's super accurate for me. So those two decks I definitely recommend. And you can find the Oracle cards at your local metaphysical store. You can order them online, um, wherever you really feel guided to do that. If you're really unsure, a lot of times um, hayhouse.com has them. And with the crystals, I always recommend that you go in person somewhere to feel their energy for yourself or your friend. Now another nice way to show your loved one that you love them or that you want them to relax is by gifting some sort of service. Maybe it's massage, maybe it's a reading, maybe it is an astrology reading or something that really resonates with them. Sometimes when we're super sensitive, we feel like there's a million different directions and we're just not sure which way to go for ourselves. And in fact, I just got an email from one of my students and she was saying that um, she gets messages from people all day and all night but when it comes to some of her decisions that emotional part can be really tough to kind of get through to really get that accurate insight so sometimes it is nice to just get a reading or get a service and one of the best parts about it no matter what you choose is simply the relief and relaxation I did a podcast interview a couple of weeks ago and somebody said, Whitney, what is the best life-changing gift someone has given you in the last six months? And I was like, oh, wow, because I'm not really a big gift, like physical, tangible item person. I like services and experiences. And I said, oh, it was, they gave me the gift of having this, it was like a massage, craniosacral and um, Reiki. And it was from a beautiful friend here in Sedona. And... I think her website, it's bad that I don't know, I think her website is um, healinghands.com, but anyway, it's Paula Lockwood, she's really awesome. And I just sat there for an hour totally receiving. I just received and my mind was clear, and so that can be one of the best gifts that you give them, even if it's for 30 minutes. So services are a really great one to help their energy. So I don't think you can really go wrong, it's just some people don't like to be touched, so you might wanna consider Reiki or craniosacral or something a little different. And then another one of my recommendations for spiritual gifts is experiences. So I am one of these experience persons. So my husband and I don't buy gifts for each other. We like to go on an experience. So we'll go out to eat or we go to an event or gosh, it'd be really nice when we go on vacation. And so we like to give ourselves little experiences, even little mini vacations if possible. So you could find out where your loved one likes to go out to eat and get them a gift certificate. Or maybe if they have a really special diet, you could inquire about where they want to eat or maybe you could even buy them a membership. There's like Thrive Market or you could maybe buy a membership for Purple Carrot, those places. So something that is basically like an acts of service, like I want to gift this to you so you get to go out and experience it. And then of course, if they're interested in learning, 
Maybe they want to be in an online course and learn something, or maybe they want to experience it in person, like a yoga class or a Zumba class or um, an art class or something that they really haven't felt like they could spend on themselves. So it'd be really nice to look at maybe gifting that to them. So things like that, experiences. And of course, if you don't have a budget, travel's always a good one. You could get them like a voucher, a gift card to plane tickets. Or if budget is an issue, you could offer to pet sit for them or something small like that. Or watch their kids while they go out and do X, Y, Z. So sometimes our spiritual loved ones and friends and family members like freedom. And so feeling the gift of freedom can be really, really nice. And then I do see more and more um, spiritual entrepreneurs. So those who are really excited and taking the next steps, but they feel like they need more education or they feel like they need more tools. And so if your loved one or friend is starting their own business, kind of chipping in and seeing how you can help them, you could actually just get them a gift card to a supply store because when you're starting a business, that's a big deal. Or you could ask them what they need, or maybe you help them with software or something like that. So thinking about those creative ways of how can I help somebody and what do I get them because I'm not kind of sure how to speak their language. Now these are gifts that I would all love, including those physical tangible gifts too. So I hope that helps. And if you have any questions about intuition and things like that, I will be back live more regularly and I don't see any questions now so I'll hop off but I just wanted to come in and say hey and if you haven't watched the latest um, video you can go to messengerofspirit.com forward slash blog and see five reasons why it's so important to listen to your intuition and you can also find the spiritual gift guide there too. All right well, I hope you have a fantastic evening and I'll see you soon. Bye.